All right, so we're talking about uh, Blue de Chanel. Just kidding. Talking about Timu's Blue de Chanel P. Whatever the heck that is. Down here at the beach in the summertime. It's kind of busy. A lot of kooks, tourists out here. Uh, this one, just like the Savasse, the Sauvage uh, clone that they make, it does. Um, you know, there's nothing really on the bottom here. It's a true black market. It, uh, <clears throat> I don't really get any compliments on it. It doesn't have a lot of longevity. I don't think it has a ton of projection. It's not as uh, alcohol heavy as um, the Belcans clones, but um, yeah. <sighs> you can combine this with that uh, other Savasse, which um, one of the reviewers, Common Sense or something, I forget who it was, but they said um, they had took a poll and they said what? that um, Savasse mixes good with the layering uh, base for this, right? Or for the real one. So I did that with these two clones, and it, I do like the smell personally. But compliment wise, I actually get compliments on the Savage clone, the Savasse. I don't really get compliments on uh, this one. But I like it. And uh, obviously, there's no note breakdown anywhere. But uh, basically, just. You know, blue, aquatic, metallic, uh, musk, and some kind of wood, sandalwood or cedarwood or something. Unless that's supposed to be their version of vetiver. But, um, yeah, it cost me $2.55 for a 50 milliliter. That's a Vase. It was uh, 7 bucks for the 100 mil. So, yeah, for 2 or 3 bucks, you know. And it's a 50 mil, so you can take it travel size, kind of. And, um, yeah, I definitely recommend picking up. I'll leave a discount link in the description. And uh, thanks for your time. In the nose. Look good, smell good. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for your time.